we're gonna call this the hub pub <laughs> the hub pub Ahoy salty dogs, Cap here. Welcome to the Star Squadron server. This is episode number 17 on Star Squadron. Um, we are in the Dragoon. It's official. We named it the Dragoon. Um, I got a pretty overwhelming, um, what's the word? I got, I got some pretty overwhelming support for, uh, naming the ship Dragoon. You guys really, really liked that idea, so we're gonna make it official here. Let's go ahead and hit rename. We're gonna name this. Dragoon and the reason I put cap by the way just if you were wondering the reason I put cap in front of all my ships Is so that in the nav menu you can tell that it's one of my ships if you're not familiar with my videos like I know uh, We all try and watch each other's videos, but We all have other jobs, you know this this isn't what we do So we don't always have time to watch everybody on the server's videos so if, uh, if somebody's, you know, not up to date on my videos, they'll know that uh, the Dragoon is my ship because it says Cap in front of it. Um, so we're still out in the asteroid f fields mining. Or rather, I guess I should say we're out in the asteroid fields again uh, mining. Um, I'm in a different asteroid field now, and uh, I would love to tell you guys why. Um, so I had a little mishap with the sun. Um, we are actually in a different system now. Um, I moved over to this system right here. This is Pegagaragox. <laughs> Pegagarago? I don't know. Either way, it sounds fine. Um, which is close. We, we live in this other green one right here, so we're close. This is kind of a, this is going to be a mining base for us. I actually set up a mining outpost. Where is it? Right here. I'm right near it. Um, currently, it is one standard hull and one faction module, <laughs> so that is my entire mining outpost for now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I moved to here because, god, Betus is just so hot, man. I, uh, I destroyed the first iteration of the Dragoon. Um, I was mining, I was actually about in this sector, I think, when it happened, so I was still pretty far from the sun. I felt like I was far. Apparently, I was not far enough, uh, but uh, so I was like, screw that, man. I'm going to a whole nother system. I'm not even bothering with this. I don't have cold asteroids anyway, <laughs> so I claimed a whole new thing. Um, I've already done the mining for the cold asteroids, and uh, by the way, viewer, thank you for this tip. If I hit down, then I can switch to the cargo pod, um, yeah, and then just check the inventory that way without getting out of the ship core. But I've already done the mining on the cold asteroids, these three. I'm working on the warm asteroids next. 72,000 tons of capacity is a lot. <laughs> so we're at 35%, and I have a metric crap load of, um, of ores and stuff. So that's awesome. We're going to mine some more. Uh, we're going to mine some of the hot asteroids now. And collect that. I want a hundred thousand at least of um, of each resource, and then we'll take those back for a project we're gonna work on, or we're gonna start on today. Speaking of projects, we're gonna start on. Uh, I met up with Garth recently, and I've got a little bit of footage I want to play for that. But we've got a lot to do today, so I'm gonna make it quick. Hello, Garth. Hey. Well, let me show you how I dock mine, which is pretty pretty boring. But you know, what do you do? No, no doubt. I'd love to see it. Now, when you dock this, before you before you do this, I, I want to point out one other thing, just to make <coughs> sure it's not going to screw you up here. What's that? Um, I noticed that this pod that's currently docked is in slot 2, not slot 1. And slot 3 is not prepared for a pod. Um... So... That pod you dock will try and go to slot two, which already is occupied. Uh, slot, I don't think so. Maybe I'm misunderstanding how your how yeah, system the, the, works. The, the, it's not really a slot. It's um, it's almost like a magazine for for a gun. Okay. You pull one out, and the rest of them will move forward to fill the slot. Right. I'll show you. You'll see when I get in here. 
this rail right here when the other one parks you'll see how I, I do the system okay yeah this is what I'm this is what I'm con this is what I was confused about because I would expect that the pod being docked here should switch this rail but maybe I misunderstand no it checks the the, the pod before it as soon as it parks there you'll see that turn sideways where'd you go I'm I'm right here behind you it looks like it pushed itself into the other pod though uh, there's a one space gap Oh, okay. It's a graphical anomaly on my side. The, uh, the the pod that's parked here appears in the second spot instead of the first spot. Oh, when you pull one out, they move forward. That may be what happened because your 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 client didn't didn't uh, render that. That's right. I only see I see I see two pods mushed together now <laughs> instead of uh, instead of just one pod parked there. So, what brings you into this neck of the woods? Um, yeah, so I, uh, I wanted to check out your cargo pods and stuff and see, see if we couldn't find a way to kind of utilize them, mm -hmm. um, as, because I, I kind of built my ship so that I can use anybody's pods, you know, I, okay. I want, I want it to be relatively universal. Um, okay. and the reason for this, we just set up a spawn, uh, warp gate hub. Um, in, okay. in your in your system that you've claimed, so I appreciate you, uh, you know, allowing us to do that. But hey, no problem. Um, I I wanted to set up a shop there, and I was wondering, since you're making the sparkle corn juice, if you would be willing to supply my shop with your sparkle corn juice. Oh, definitely. I mean, we're not we're not to production levels yet. I mean, I do have some that I've I've made in the still down in the down on the planet, but mass producing. I mean, we're close. So yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, my shop is still just a thought at this point. I have not placed the first block of it, so we've got plenty okay. of time. Um, I'd be willing right. to pay you for uh, for your services. I can. I've got a bunch of Laramar. I can. I can trade you. Oh well, Laramar is definitely a currency of choice around here because I can use it to make more sparkle corn juice, um, which that would help a lot. Well, maybe we can yeah. work up a supply chain kind of thing where I can bring you Laramar and you can give me the end product and I'll put it in my uh, bar tavern shop area. Sounds good. Sounds good. Should we shake on it? Let's shake on it. Garth and I hung out for quite a while and, uh, and we went over a lot of fun things. Um, as usual, if you want to check out the rest of our interaction, he's got the footage on his channel. Definitely check him out. I'll put a link on the screen right about now. And thusly we arrive at the Salty Shipyard with our hold full of loot. Well, at least as full as I care to get it. It's definitely not full, but <laughs> we'll take a look at the haul in just a second. Let's go ahead and dock to this puppy. Um, we're just going to dock it right here. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to be this way because our dock is on the left. And bloop, there we go. So we are here. Um, I am going to physically walk there because uh, this I like to play in astronaut mode myself. I enjoy walking around my ships. Otherwise, why did I build such a fancy interior if I can't walk around in it, right? Uh, that is not the, but the key I meant to hit. <laughs> Um, let's walk back here. We're going to check in and see what all kind of resources we've got. So we filled this up a little over halfway, which is a lot of materials for sure. We're going to get, oh man, we're so close to 100,000 on this, but everything else is beautiful. This one too, actually. Um, we have so much layer of mar, and we're actually going to take that out independently. Oh, I can't. How much of this can I take? Can I take 100,000? Uh, one, one, two, three, one, two, three. There's a hundred thousand. Oh, that was a million. <laughs> one, one, two, one, two, three. There we go. Okay, so I might be able to take another hundred thousand. Can I hold that much? Nope, but I can take the seventy-four. Um, okay, so we'll take that. I'm gonna put that separately. Uh, we talked to Garth about paying him in Laramar, so he's gonna get that amount. Um, I've already got another stash put away for, for Garth as well. Um, I don't have a way to automatically put this stuff in my cargo system, so we're just going to switch to cargo and shift-click all of it for now. Uh, ultimately, we want to get an automatic way to unload these pods, but for now, we're just going to do it that way. Uh, we can deactivate pull, but we'll leave it active. It's not hurting anything. 
I need to get some materials together. Um, as we spoke with Garth, our next project is to build a shop at the hub. So we're going to get some materials together. We're going to fly over to the hub and start on our shop. All right, so I've got a couple of things in my hold right now. Uh, nothing really fancy, just a, a little bit of logic and some hull blocks. Um, I got a bunch of gray hull. I figured mostly I would kind of build a shape out of gray and then fill in the details later. Um, the Salty Shipyard, th we're going to try and build it differently uh, from the style I use for the Salty Shipyard because and I'm not the best at building stations for sure. I'm definitely not going to claim that, but... Um, the Salty Shipyard is more of an industrial kind of, um, building and, uh, thing, and <laughs> we're going more for a, like a shop, right? So, like a, like a commercial or residential kind of feel. Um, so something as industrial feeling as the Salty Shipyard isn't quite gonna work. Um, let's kind of pick a spot now. I want to free camera a little bit and zoom out. I don't want to be super close to this. If we could get more toward the middle of the sector, that'd be good, but I don't know exactly where that's going to be. Um, but I'm thinking we go definitely far enough away that uh, that we're not like right up against that warp gate. You know, I want it to be kind of central to where our warp hub is going to be, so maybe... Maybe a little bit farther away. Um, we did set it so that you can have, I think it's something like 20 stations in each sector. So um, we've got plenty of uh, real estate available for other people as well to make their, uh, to make their warp gates. Um, this is probably far enough away, wouldn't you say? I mean, we want it to be pretty close, but not like super far. I really wish there was a way to see where in the sector I was. But I don't think there's a way to do that. Maybe once we get stopped, if we pull up the map, if we zoom in real far. But I still think it just, yeah, it just marks the sector. It doesn't say where in the sector. Oh, but it looks like we have passed out of the sector we wanted to be in, though. Yeah, so we actually need to move towards the Salty Shipyard a little bit. And throw her back in 232. That's the sector I want to be in for this. Okay, so we'll be, we'll put it right here. Um, I think this is a decent spot for it. This will put us kind of near the bottom, I guess, of 232. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to zoom back in. And we'll just hop out. Uh, now, I need to be outside of the ship to spawn the shipyard in, otherwise, or spawn the station in. Otherwise, it will spawn the station inside the ship, and that's definitely not, a, not what we want. Um, but, I mean, this is far enough away here. So, we'll move a little bit farther away, perhaps, right here. Alright, and then P for new space station. We're going to call this the hub pub. <laughs> the hub pub and shop. Shop A. Should we call it ye ol hub pub and shoppy? I like that. <laughs> we'll call it that. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Um, I'm going to place a bunch of blocks and get kind of an idea for the shape of this. And we'll check back in after I've got a little bit of a design going. The Hub Pub. <laughs> I got a spinning sign. So I had this idea that we would build like... Um, a neutral meeting place, right? We've got this big, like, faction war going on on our server right now, and I'm staying out of it. I'm doing a really, I'm being really careful not to, uh, not to get myself more involved than I have to. Um, but I figured it would be cool, since I'm, especially since I'm a neutral party, to be able to build a place where no matter which side of the conflict you're on, um, you can be safe. You know, so I wanted to build a shop. Uh, maybe I can take advantage of, of the coin that comes in from both sides <laughs> with this. Is really what I'm is really what I'm after. Um, but I wanted to build a shop um, in the hub 
uh, first of all, so that that will draw everybody from either side to be able to come and congregate here. Um, this is a neutral area, so even if you're um, Free Trade Commonwealth or if you're uh, United Laramar Alliance, either side, um, you can come here and visit my shop, drink at my pub, and, um, you know, we'll have a good time. So I had this idea for like a docking ring. Um, we'll put like the pub and the shop area in the center. And this part is temporary. That'll move. The sign will go somewhere else. Um, I'm keeping the sign though. I love having the spinny sign. It probably will become much bigger actually. Um, because this is a neutral build, I don't know if I'm going to put my lens cap branding on it. Um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm building this for everybody. So should I still put my skulls on it? Let me know what you think. Um, so I had this idea, and I'm hoping I can pull it off, but uh, that we have a docking ring that kind of spins around, and then there's a like a shuttle kind of, or maybe two shuttles, so you don't have to wait so long. But they kind of go around the edge like this. Maybe they'll pause at the quarter intersections to collect passengers. And then um, there is, from two directions, there will be ways to get from the docking ring to the middle. So really, really, I guess it only needs to go back and forth like this. But making a full circle would be way cooler. So we put them opposite each other, and they make a circle all the way around. Um, I think that's a cool idea. And then uh, there'll be windows so you can view in in and see the pub, uh, pub, bar, room, area, building, <laughs> um, suspended in the middle of the docking ring. Um, I think that's a really cool idea. So the first thing we've got to figure out are the logistics, right? How are people going to be able to park their ships here? And I think what we're going to do is build, uh, like I said, we're going to come from the four different directions. Um, I figured we could build, so we want it to be able to support anybody's ships. Um, so I figured, that's not right. Um, so I figured we would build it in such a way that regardless of how big your ship is, uh, your USD should be able to dock to somewhere. Uh, <laughs> um, I made this 10, maybe we'll make it 5, but I put like these crosses on the end, and there'll be a USD here, here, and here. And so regardless of how your ship is set up, like my ship, the Dragoon, for example, could park on this one. Um, but like uh, the Dread, Robin Shield ship, um, is so much bigger, it would have to park on the end one. Um, but that way, you know, hopefully there's a way that you can park your ship. You know I had to do it. <laughs> um, so, I'm kind of out of ideas. I'm not sure where to go from here, honestly. Uh, I hadn't thought that far ahead. I'd thought about the docking ring thing, and I thought that was cool, but... Um, you can't rush this kind of stuff. You know, you got to do it at your own pace. Um, once you have an idea, you got to lay it down and and then uh, kind of work off of that. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm thinking we'll head back to the salty shipyard, at least for a little bit, and construct some things um, so that we can get the... Where are we going? So that we so that we can get the shop actually functional as well. Um, I did place the shop module, so I guess it works. But if there's no money and no product in the shop, then what good is a shop, right? So I figure what we'll do is go to the salty shipyard and we'll make something that everybody's going to need nearby. Let's make a couple of warp computers and a handful of warp modules. And then we can bring those here and sell those in our shop. That's how we'll start to generate our, our revenue and our income uh, to fund this whole construction area. Aha, uh -huh, so we have arrived back at the salty shipyard. I guess I can change my personal cargo back to, uh, back to the cargo that's here instead, which is um, definitely more, uh, more beneficial. So we're going to use that as personal cargo instead. Um, we're gonna hop down to the factories now for the moment 
and we're gonna build some modules. Um, I I hope I have enough materials. Gosh, if I don't, man, that'd be crazy. I spent so many hours mining. I mean, half of it went burned up in the sun, uh, but I definitely uh, spent a long time mining some stuff. So let's see. We want to make warp computers first. We'll make a hundred of them. Maybe we'll make 200 of them. What do they take? Uh, let's see. Cargo. Warp. Yeah, we made 200. We've got 105 gate modules. I say we make at least 1,000 of these. Let's make at least 1,000 of these. We'll go uh, stock our shop with them. You know what we might do, actually, as well? I'm thinking we do this. Let's make another an extra 100 of these. Um, and we can sell them to a regular shop so we can put some money into our, um, let's make 5,000. Can we? Is that too many? Nah, that'd be fine. <laughs> and, but we can sell 100 of these to a regular shop, uh, so that we can fund the, um, so we can fund the, the hub pub with, uh, with some currency as well. So if people want to sell stuff, um, there, then we can buy it from them. So this is the shop near the salty shipyard. Let's see what we can get for these if we sell them. We can get... Okay, is that 12? Gosh, I can't read numbers today. 1.2 million credits. I was hoping for more than that. That's not going to be very much currency. Um, what if we... Hmm... I've got 5,000 modules as well. We could maybe sell 1,000 of them. Um, at least we should find out how much they sell for, right? If we can get some decent money out of them, uh, then why not sell them here as well? Um, we're going to undercut all of the local shops anyway. So I want to sell everything for 10% uh, at least. Um, less than uh, than market value of, of these things. So how about that? In the back of the ship, we're too far from the shop. <laughs> but here we can. Okay, what if we sell... If we sell a 1,000 of these, how much can we get? 5 million. That's more like it. We'll take that. And then we've got 6 million credits we can drop, uh, we can, we can drop into the shop. Cool. We're going to need to make... Oh, wait a second. I think I sold all but a thousand. Is that what happened? Oops. <laughs> oh, well, we can always craft some more. Let's just sell all of them. Whatever, we'll sell all this stuff. I'll craft some more. I've got 10, 000, 10 million credits now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this a couple more times, I guess. I'm gonna make some more money, uh, probably get it up to 15, 20, 20 million, something like that. We'll put that much into our shop to start with, and we'll we'll stock it with some modules as well. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. That's all I've got time for today. Um, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like. Let me know what you think of the pub hub idea. Um, I think it's a cool idea. I think it's going to work out well for us. Hopefully, it's lucrative as well. Um, leave your feedback in the comments below. Stay tuned. See you guys next time.